pandemia is a problem of security. And uh, therefore we have to be prepared much better than we, that we have been this time. We cannot get surprised by a pandemia. I think there will not be a normal to go back to anymore because uh, we will have experienced unforeseeable uh, circumstances, uh, unimaginable for any of us uh, just uh, one year ago. COVID-19 has confirmed that the shift of power uh, from west to east is real. And in many ways, the pandemic is the symbol, you know, par excellence of why you can't try to fight uh, transnational threats alone. China has total control over the World Health Organization. COVID has affected and impacted everything. And I think some of the impact will be permanent, but it will play out on the issues and questions that uh, that are affecting people's lives and living in the most immediate way. And it will be health and it will be economy. The pandemic swept through the world, sweeping through the world, devastating it in many ways. But the human capacity for misery and war has not been seriously dented. COVID-19 has obviously presented a great danger to the world. Sadly, uh, over a million people have died from it. But it also provides a magnificent opportunity for the humanity to recognize that we are all now on the same boat. Global health crises offer an opportunity where, in fact, we can organize constructive cooperation. I think it, it's not as simple as saying, OK, the pandemic is over and now we figure out how to keep going the way we were. There obviously will be a resumption of what you could call uh, normal life, but it won't be the same life that we lived beforehand. <laughs>